I'm back. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll split this into two parts because um, I was editing the last one yesterday and it was quite busy, like it was quite long. Also, I'm pretty sure this is glitched. I'm just saying, cause I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be this nice. I thought we we're gonna work on it together, but if not, then okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Olympia. Things have really been picking up since we last spoke. Let me show you what's happening. Oh, I... That's disappointing. Okay, I'm a bit disappointed, but I'm not going to... Oh, we get reputation with here now. The racetrack has really come together. Look at the picket fence lining the racetrack. Isn't it beautiful? Bjorn and Ag Agnetha did such a good job with the landscaping. The grandstand is completed thanks to the efforts of the Jorvik Rangers. All the friends Josh brought in are super handy. They supplied timber from Mistfall and elbow grease from Wildwoods. And look at how nice the stables are. That's not the line, but we're going with it. Meteor even got a stool of his own while we're working. He's as happy as he can be with his hay net. All in all, I really think I think it's really coming together. Garnock may work hard, but your Norwegians with a motive work harder. I don't know why I'm struggling to speak because I've just been singing for like the last an hour. Okay, so my mouth should be really pretty warmed up and I'm still struggling. Wait a minute, what's he doing here? Oh, we do get more quests today. I want to just... Oh, okay. My favorite thing to do in Sims, like I used to be a Sims channel, fun facts with Olympia right here. I used to be a Sims channel and uh, I used to do, I used to love to do landscaping. I think the build I'm most proud of for landscaping is like the tea rooms one I did, which if you want to go back and watch it, it's very, very, very cringy, but it's open if you want to watch it, I suppose. Ha, so the farmers and equestrians get to work like ants. Maybe I should hire some to come work for me, although I don't really like my workers to have autonomy. No, I know you don't. It's a bit like Amazon, really, isn't it? Not to get political or anything. The people of Jorvik trying to build something of their own. How quaint. You're playing with fire here. Just know that your attempts to bring the racetrack to life are futile. This lowly excuse for a racetrack sits on the border of GED's sanctioned land. All it takes for you to go over that line by a blade of grass and we can claim ownership of everything. It's only a matter of time before the land falls into the hands of GED and then I can do something great with it. A swimming pool here, a golf course there and not a single horse pasture in sight. Ha! We'll see how long this charade lasts, but I'll be here to gloat some more. <sighs> Ugh, what a dung beetle. Something tells me he's scheming. Let's keep an eye on him. Well, unlike Mr. Kemble, we have work to do. Are you up for a little mission to Cape West vi Fishing Village? Apparently there's a package for the Baroness waiting by the docks at Cape West. She says she didn't order anything, so it's probably a present. That's a trick. It's a Trojan horse. I'm calling it now, okay? Maybe it has something to do with the building of this racetrack. Either way, we need something to go down there and pick it up. It probably isn't too big. I'm sure hometown- oh, I'm sure Sigurd could carry it just fine. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to speak with everyone and see how things are going. You can always call me if there are any issues. See you soon. I'm gonna go take the trailer. No way am I running. Where is the trailer now here then? Oh my god, there's gotta be a trailer. I am not running all the way. Okay, let's just quickly click on trailers. Oh my god. Um, yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm probably just gonna be blind because it's not, it's not, it's not um, my video if I'm not really, really blind for like most of it. He gets over here. Fair enough whoa um does this happen in anybody else's game because there's just like some smoke just coming out randomly of my group chat on first college is going mad oh my god i forgot how stupid he looks he, right have you if you've ever watched like octodad or something which was like a big game back when it first came out like 2016 or something he looks a bit like the octopus from that <laughs> Good day, landlubber. Huh, is this all of you? You're telling me you're expecting to lug this hulking container all by yourself? Nah, that won't do. Whatever's inside, it's it's, tr it's literally a Trojan horse. Whatever's inside weighs a ton, as it's made of solid gold or something. Haha, -ha. the shipping label ain't got no return address or nothing, so I've no clue where it came from. This wouldn't have anything to do with the Baroness's racetrack reopening, would it? Nah, I'd call back up if I were you and try trying to make it quick. This thing's taken up the best fishing spot in the village. Just ten more minutes and you'll have all of Golden Hills Valley lining up to cast behind you to cast a reel. Don't worry, backup's on the way. Was Linda just on like speakerphone the entire time or also I love the I love the I love that car. It's like the dumbest looking car ever. Kima Steelgate at your service, ready to save the day with her trusty 4x4. Oh, that would squish the car. 
Good thing you called me, this thing is huge. Not that I doubt Seagrid's ability to carry anything, of course, but some things are a better job for four wheels and a reinforced steel, and Sybil is at the door. Come on, Sibs. Hi, Sibs. Are you scratching my chair? She was scratching my chair. I can take it from here, Olympia. You should head up, head back to the racetrack. Things have really kept ramping up here. Hello. I love you. I have no idea what she just said. I was too distracted by Sybil jumping on me. But, um, do you ever have the thing where you can like read something and then absolutely just not read it at all? Your brain doesn't process the information. Oh, that's where the car was. That's why it was... Um, Okay, Sybil, you're kind of in the way of my controls right now. You know I really love you. And I know everybody else really loves you. But maybe don't purr down the microphone. Also, I don't know what's going on in my group chat, but they're like going mad. <laughs> they never speak and then whenever I try and record, they're just like, Ah, Sybil, get your tail out my face. I give up sometimes. Hello, yes, I love you. Can we, ah, Sybil, your tail's in my face. Hey again, I told Kima to book it to you as fast as she could. That thing must be huge. She must have sped, like, Jesus Christ. She got there in like three seconds. Oh, it's just, okay, it's fine. Or if it is a Trojan horse, it'll be a literal Trojan horse, which would be even more impressive. But I'm kind of disappointed that there isn't like an army in it or something. Anyway, there are some more things to do before the racetrack is ready to open. Rania and Sigri have been kind enough to supply us with Miss Fool's finest timber for the stretchers, handmade by the Varanja family themselves. Rania, I don't know how to say her name, so I'm just keep pronouncing it wrong and I feel really bad. Rainier wants to check the integrity of the woodwork. It would be great if you could go round with her. And then the rangers will need some he help heavy lifting stuff. With home, with Seagrad, the two of I'm going to keep getting that wrong. With Seagrad, the two of you shouldn't have a problem. Lastly, Mel and Talia need to grab some packages to add the finishing touches to the racetrack. They're sh running short on time, so your help there is much needed. Oh, hello, Seagrad. <laughs> Oh, hello, Elinda. I tried asking Agnetha if she would needed any help with the plans, but she waved her chainsaw around in an effort to get me to back off, shouting something about not being allowed to borrow her equipment no matter how much I asked. Ah. I'm not your personal jungle gym. Anyway, good help, luck with helping people. I have to run, work out some logistics in the meantime. Josh is bringing in some pony horses, and I have to figure out where to put them. Some pony horses? Pony horses? I'm not going to ask. Olympia, is that you? I could tell by your footsteps. Um, I think it'd be my horse footsteps, so basically it would be my hoof steps. Yeah, that made sense. Nice to speak to you again. Rowan called on me and my mum, Sigri, and asked if we could help a friend out with some woodwork. Coming from a long line of shipbuilders, we knew exactly what to do. So my mum and I helped supply the timber for the buildings around the racetrack. It's exciting. I don't think the Varanja family have even cra ever crafted something to this extent before. Will you take a loop around the area with me? I need to get a feel of the buildings to make sure they're up to scratch. Um, yeah, sure. So, well, don't, don't, no. Nope. Get your paw out my bin. Babysitting cats is like 10 times harder than children. I babysit my cousin, put planes on the TV, absolutely fine, right? This cat doesn't stop, ever. She's attacking, she's attacking my mouse. This one's perfect, you know. You know, most of the buildings in Mistfall were built in part with, by my ancestors. Through our speciality has always been shipbuilding. When people, I say that too fast. When the people settled Dundil, I think they meant to put in Dundil. When the people settled in Dundil, they needed all the help they could get to raise the village from the ground up. That's when the Varangers stepped in. Okay, nice for the family history, thank you. Appreciate it. My cat can't decide where she's going for the mouse because I have two screens and they're both showing mouse. <laughs> Why are we just looking at this barrel? Okay. So I need to read the quest. Hmm. There's a little gap along along the seals of this building. Sometimes the natural knots of the tree remains even after all the work we put in. That's not always a bad thing though. In fact, sometimes it can be good. It gives the word a, word a little character. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't really want ah a gap in the shed though, do you? Stop texting. Ah, I know who helped put this together. My mum. See here, carved into the wood, initially the ini shield with a V inside. We've been working, we've been marking the wood like this for generations. When I was younger, I used to wander around Dundil, running my hands across the timber and seeking the places my ancestors left their mark. We're all done. I'll let my mum know how it went and what needs to be done next. Thanks for the help. Next. There you are. We need your help desperately. Look at this place. 
um, looks pretty good actually. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting that. This place is a ghost town. There's not a single store open in sight. However, that must change very soon, for the racetrack is the stage and the horses are the stars. Um, what Talia is trying to say is we ordered some things off J-Bay, so the stores around the track will have stocks when they are open today, but they got delivered to completely the wrong addresses. That's what you get for relying on Yorvik's postal service. Yeah. You'd be saving the show if you'd grabbed the packages for us. They've been delivered all across Silverglade Village by mistake. We'd really appreciate it. See you back here after. Okay, right, let's go Silverglade Village then. Oh, well, that's a little shed. And there's jumps there, so I reckon if they would do a steeplechase or whatever it's called. Okay, let's see what my group chat's been saying. My college, my people at college know I have a YouTube channel, but I refuse to tell them what it is. Oh, it's about the thing that happened at the Oscars, okay. There's one box. How many boxes can we put on to our horse? Oh, infinite, perfect. This is like a real horse, isn't it? You could put infinite amount of boxes on your horse and it'll be fine. Not gonna break it or anything. Whilst we're here, do I wanna get anything from Big Bonnie? Because like, I have so much stuff. I love the hat, okay, the hat is like my favorite thing. Perfect, all the deliveries are here. You and Sigurd just saved the day, thank you. Did we just like, yeet them back across or something? Because wouldn't we be able to come back? Also, these flowers are so pretty. And with the gold trimmed ruffles adorning the finishing line, we we'll invoke a sense of glory that rivals this, that of Audius's joy at returning to Ithaca. If Ithaca. Ithaca? Oh, you're back with the decorations too. Thank you. You're a star. Oh, we did just transport back. Well, that saved a trailer fair, to be fair. How's it going? Nice to be in the heart of your for once. Usually, me and the rangers are deep in the depths of Wilder's Verge. Don't think I've been around this many people in a while. Fancy helping us do some heavy lifting? I bet you and your horse buddy could carry the old racetrack equipment away. Me, I'll throw them over my shoulder. You know, one time I carried a bench all the way up Mount Warning, back in Oz. Oh yeah, they live in Australia, don't they? <laughs> Took me darn near three weeks, but it was worth it to sit down and enjoy the view. The trouble was getting back down. I was attacked by the deadliest creature known to Australia. Yes, I was attacked by none other than the drop bear. The fella came out of nowhere, lunged at me from the trees. I managed to ward him off and rolled the rest of the way down the mountain. Spent the next few weeks looking over my shoulder, waiting for the next time a drop bear strikes again. A drop bear? Isn't that like just a myth? Australian tell tourists to scare them, like the mythical white deer of wildwoods. That's what they want you to believe, but when you come face to face with a fierce creature like a drop bear, you'll wish you were better prepared. But hey, they're the least of your worries, really, when the fearsome hoop snakes exist too. Okay, I have no idea what was just going on, but I think we just got sidetracked. To be fair, can relate to that. <laughs> what are we even doing? Are we like marking things to take away? Okay. I like the fountain. Pop. Pop. Mm -hmm. <sighs> They're still going. That's it, we're done. We can take it from here, thanks. Come by Redwood Point sometime if you're looking for an adventure in the wilderness. The trail there is tricky, but for you and Sigrid, it's a piece of cake. I know, because we're immortal. We don't die. <laughs> also, like, we're amazing riders as soon as we sit on the horse, you know, we can do anything. Survive a cliff fall, survive, I don't know, anything. Okay, so Sybil's so finally just laid down and gone to sleep. Did everything go as expected? Great. Rainier and Seagrace sure know a lot about woodwork. You're done helping the rangers already? Whoa, Seagrid is a real powerhouse. Meteor couldn't lift so much as a feather even if I attempted him with apples. Everything must have gone well picking up deliveries, judging by the way Talia's jumping for joy. Great, that's it. Um, that person's just leading an invisible horse. Hmm, let me just check my list to see what's next. Aha, huh, it's empty. Wait, that means we're done. We did it. Let's gather everyone around and tell them the great news. Hi again, everyone. It feels just like yesterday we were gathered around looking at the remains of the old waste track. Oh, I, I did it again. Waste track. Race, race, race track and scratching our heads on where to begin. Well, I guess we're doing exactly that. Well, it was just yesterday because I didn't leave this for months like I usually do with quests. But now it's complete. The Baroness's racetrack has been rebuilt, transformed into a racing hub that riders from all around Jovic can enjoy. Just look at it, isn't it amazing? And we have all of you to thank. This is a tr true tr team effort. That was a mouthful. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Think of the possibilities, championships, jumping tracks, a grass paddock for show jumping. We could even host trail rides that extend up into the mountain. 
Oh, how could I forget to mention the mysterious package? It was a statue crafted in the finest Norwegian Yorwe bronze with a base of cobblestone harvested from the mountains of yore. This must have cost a fortune. It looks wonderful, don't you think? The statue has a lot of significance to the Baroness too. It's actually modelled after her fa first racehorse gallant. Well, this isn't suspicious at all, is it? Whoever donated the statue must know her very well. Very oh, Mrs. Sands. Do you reckon it's something for um, the main plot? You know, Mrs. Sands knew was married to her, wasn't he? And they had Thomas, not Thomas. They had yeah, Thomas Morland together. Which is a bit. Oh, the dog wants to come back in. I left the dog outside. Strombolli. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Okay, he's in. <laughs> Well, that's all I have to say. Thanks again, everyone. Your hard work will not be forgotten. I think it's time to rest. A cup of tea and cuddles from Misty sounds like heaven right now. Oh, she's got a cat called Misty. But first, the Baroness herself would like to say a few words to us all. The dog's beating up the cage. <laughs> Let's gather and listen to what the Baroness has to say. She tends to get sentimental when a momentous things happen like this. Maybe she'll share a good story with us. Hello, everyone. Yes, it's final. After all this time, the racetrack has been completed. What a sight to behold. These grounds have been, has seen generations of Silverglades residing at the seat of my historical family home, Silverglade Manor. But today I think specifically of my great-great-grandmother, Florence Ann Silverglade. It is on these very grounds that Florence Ann, Sil Florence Ann learned to ride and where her father, impressed, to her by, impressed by her tenacity, built a racetrack on the spot we stand today. She went on to become the first woman in Jorvik to compete professionally in horse racing, defying the social bounds of the time and cementing the equestrian traditions of our household that remain even today. In I didn't think that on Jorvik there was the patriarchy, but I suppose there is. In fact, it was on this land that I too developed a lifelong passion for horses. Of course, that was years ago now. The race trek fell into disrepair and with it the Silverglades family's prestige for ri horse riding fell into obscurity. That is until today. Thank you to the. I I remember that I just did a voice yesterday, didn't I? For her, so, thanks to you, the honourable people of Jorvik, my family's racetrack has been restored to its former glory. I cannot wait to see the track in its use again. And the biggest thanks of all goes to Linda and Olympia. Without them, this whole thing would have never come together. Now, all that's left to do is for someone to volunteer as the first rider to take a lap around the track. Olympia, how kind of you to volunteer. I didn't... Oh, okay, okay, I guess I did. You and Sigrid are the perfect match to break in the racetrack. Oh, and we get a ribbon. Yes. And we also get horse XP. Is it just going to be like a straight run? If it is, it's a bit disappointing, but okay. Can we just point out how this racetrack is actually bigger than the old one? The old one was like really tiny. You could do it in like 30 seconds. And this one takes at least like 45. Mm, 30... About 40. Oh, we have to go. How many times do we have to go round? I think that is going to have to be something that they're going to have to like work on. Because I know um, I wasn't trying to spoil it for myself because I was trying to like save it for when I had, you know, I could record it. But I saw that the racetrack only gives you like 150 XP or something. Considering you have to do it, it takes a minute now, whereas before it took 30 seconds. That doesn't really seem worth it. So I don't know if it will become deserted because it's not really a good place to train. I think they should have kept it as a 250. My oh my, you are quite the sight racing around. Florence Ann Silverglade would be pleased to know that her legacy is continuing. Now, I've kept you all long enough with my old chatter. A ming mingle amongst yourselves, have fun and celebrate this community achievement. Yes, I'll take, gladly take 500 shillings. All these people you cobbled together to this toy racetrack what a joke. GED could have done the work in half the time with even fewer people. Well, you could have done it in a day with fewer people. We only had like five people. What do you think you're doing here? I've told you before. You're not welcome. Now leave. Oh, but I am. You see, Miss Silverglade, I've been keeping an eye on your little antics. Bringing together the peasants of Jorvik into forced labour. How resourceful. GED could take a leaf out of your book. Who does this guy think he is? The owner of this land, that's who. In fact, I have proof that GED has rights to this land. The statue sitting in the centre was crafted by my workers. Told you! Told you! Knew it! The statue sitting in the centre was crafted by my workers. That's all the evidence I need to see of this land from your decrepit hands. Ha! That's enough, Simon. But Mrs. Drake? 
You have- I have it all covered. You don't need to be here. Get back to Yarlheim. Don't you have something better to do than nose around in GED Silver Glades business? Ugh, put your claws away, Kimball. You're impressing no one, or fooling them either. See them in the racetrack right under their noses, really? You do realize these are the people that put in the hard work, right? You don't have a case. Uh, uh yes, but well, enough. Run along to her whatever housing scheme you're proposing next, Kimball. I'll see you at the next board meeting. Apologies, everyone. There was some confusion surrounding which GED representative attend this gathering to extend our most heartfelt congratulations for this wonderful community effort. Psst, Olympia, why is she talking like that? Like she can barely get out the words, and that fake smile looks painful. We at GED think that the your region's passion for horses is inspiring, and we hope to foster that passion as GED is steered in a fresh direction. As an olive branch, GED has collaborated with Mr. J. Sandman told you to donate the statue modelled after the Baroness's prized why is this Baroness still going like she's talking? Baroness's prized race horse back in her competition days. I won't halt the celebrations any longer. Have a time. Sandman. Oh, I think I need to lay down. On that note, let the celebrations commence. That was fishier than Cape West, don't you think? What, why was Mrs. Drake being bearable for once? I mean, she hates everything about Jorvik. Most of all the people living here and the cats, which makes her even less likeable. Seems like we haven't have to keep an eye on her. But hey, why don't we don't have to dwell on that now? The race track is finished, and how great does it look? It was fun to team up and literally get it. Oh, it was fun to team up and finally get it done. Meteor and I will see you around the race track sometime. Okay? Uh, yeah, I love these flowers. That's the only thing I care about the flowers. Can I like? Do you reckon if you... Can we ride over this? Okay, yeah. So do you reckon if you were really skilled enough in, like, taking photos, you could get a a picture of, like, your horse mirroring it? Do you reckon that's possible? Like, like that. Only Linda's... Li, Linda's? Linda's... Linda is kind of photobombing it. But you know what? It's, it's an okay picture. We're, we're taking it. I want to go get Brownie because I think Brownie would be the better one to look around this racetrack with considering she is an English thoroughbred. I have so much rubbish in my inventory. Honestly, I, I swear I cleaned it out, but I took, like, I was going through it and I was like, but I need this and I need that. And I ended up with everything in my inventory still, so. So we can take, like, Brownie for a test run around here. She's not very happy. She's actually pretty depressed, but, you know, this is what she was made to do. I want to get more English thoroughbreds because they're just so cute. What tack and stuff do we have? So we have, like, racing tack, I think. Or oh, so that's a new style of bridle. Or it might not be a new style, but it's fitted to fit the English thoroughbreds now. What's over here? The same, but red. I like the stars. There, on the butt. Maybe I might get around to buying the boots in like 300 years time, but we'll see. I don't know why they split it up so like the red goes here and the other two colors go there, but okay. And now we can get, we can put ourselves on a platform can we put ride a horse up here of course we can it's not your vic if you can't take your horse everywhere i think i did most of my tour yesterday but i can tell you what i got wrong i got this one wrong uh that's the food store which you kind of have to buy things from but these are all the shops over here but i did guess that there was going to be that thing um there's a mailbox here which i wouldn't have guessed to be honest i guess this was going to be the bandstand i guess this was going to be like the place where you can the judge goes this is definitely gonna have to be a two-parter. Cause I just looked at the time and I've been recording for nearly an hour, so this is a two-parter. Yeah, so this is where the judge goes, or like, I guess, really important people. That it can't be with the peasants. And I guess that was gonna be the stables, so I guess I was right over there. And then obviously I could guess the really obvious ones like the vets and the round pen and stuff like that. So I think I did a pretty good job of guessing where everything was gonna be. Oh, I wanna get a picture of that, that's really cute. Don't mind me, just put my horse right there. I love the hanging baskets. I love the amount of detail every that, that's been put into this. That's what I love the most, is the amount of detail. You can tell there's been a lot of care and thought being put into everything in this place. It has been thought about a lot. Like, they thought about where they're placing everything. Like, you can tell that they care about it. But you can just see how much care has been put into this i think this is a horse stylist yeah this is the horse stylist i don't i actually quite like okay this is an unpopular opinion but i actually quite like the thoroughbreds mane that's a very unpopular opinion and i know most people don't like it but yeah i actually quite like it <laughs> i wonder if i can get that shot that i wanted to get i can oh my god i did it 
first try genuinely first try not even like exaggerating that am i a little bit too proud that i got that first try absolutely i mean it's not sent it immediately central but like it doesn't need to be central anyway thank you very much for watching this video oh that's a person let's not be weird thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow my instagram olympia.peacechild i think i'll be posting a few of these pictures i've taken <laughs> around there and follow my twitch olympia peace child i have yet to stream on there but i want to at some point i just need to figure out what i want to stream so thank you very much for watching this video and i shall see you next sunday um yeah next sunday so thank you bye <sighs> that's a very dramatic rear i think i've reared on these uh, horses in a while